Hi and welcome back to the next series here. So this is like our real-time chat application series with Nest.js and Angular. And just let me say it at the beginning, we are using, or this is fully compatible with Nest.js 8 and 7 because at the moment or we start with 7 and then in the video 5 or 6 we update to Nest.js 8 to have like a full compatibility with um, Socket.io in version 4 because um, Nest.js 7 works only with uh, Socket.io version 2. But um, here at the moment, Socket.io version 4 is um, the active version and we want to work with this, so we go to Nest.js version 8. Um, so this is like fully compatible and we also switch like to Nest.js 8 in one of the first videos. Then this is like the introduction and overview of the series and this is about the videos 1 to 17. So later we have maybe also, we expand the series for videos 18 till 30 and then we have like another overview video for this so that we can always yeah like improve the code, add new features and so on. So basically we look at the readme, we look at the open to do's, we look at the outcome for the videos, we look at the stories and have a look at the structure of the videos. So normally like a video is structured, we first have a little talk, then we look at the outcome for the specific video and then we implement it and close then the user story and um, yeah, commit everything. So for this video here, like our structure is as first we look now at the series outcome for video 17 in this case, so for video 1 to 17 what we implemented and how it looks at the end. And then we have like a look at our readme file in our code, then at the to do's because there we have like a to do file and we have like for every video there is like a story that is um, also available in uh, GitHub and we also check these. So let's start. So let's have a short look what we will build like in the first or in the next 17, 18, 19 videos like I said before. Um, so here we have our login page so it's like in our public area and we also have here our register page so we can just switch here and you can see when I try to access like the private route so for example um, the private route then this is um, guarded like by an angular authentication guard so this will check if we have like a valid JWT in our local storage and if there is none then we get like access denied and we have to first log in. So here, when we go to the register page, we can like create a new user for us. Um, so we need to add like a valid email. So it needs to have an add, we need to have a an username and we need to have like passwords that are matching. So to be able to register. So um, when we want to um, register, we need to type like in valid email. So we could say mark at mark.com or your username would be mark. And then we need to provide a password that yeah, basically matches. Then we have like create our new user and we can say um, we want to log in with mark at mark.com and then we provide the password and then we can just simply log in. So you see here we have it like in WhatsApp web. On the left you have your chat rooms, on the right you have then your selected chat rooms and you can also create one here. And when we go to the local storage you can see it here we now have like a JWT that contains um, the user information. So here you see our payload as our user with ID, username and email and issued at and expired at time. Um, so now it knows that who we are. So now we would need to create like a new room so that we have our first room created. So here you can already see how it would look when we have like a room created. So this is what I did um, before this video so that we have like a room for us to test. So we can go into it. We have like our title here when it was created like the description and the user names that are currently in this room and here like an empty space and you can also like create a new room so you can say a trip to Vegas and then we could add like a um, party like there's no tomorrow and then we can add here like two users to it for example uh, Walter and Christian and then you see we have directly created this room and have it added here to our rooms list. So we have here the name and then the room ID at the moment. But you can change this as you like. We can also add some rooms here to Paginate, but I can also show you this with a different user who is already having more rooms. So when we now go to, for example, in a second private tab, then we can go to localhost 4200. And when I log in with the Thomas user, 
we can see that he's having like many more rooms and you have to yeah i'm sorry but this here is not fully responsive so this can come in like other stories and for example when he's in here for the trip to vegas number 19 uh, or id 20 let's see if we have it here too no so who is in this room walter christian mark but thomas is also in number 19 so here so when we go here in 19 and here also in his room number i 19 and then we could for example send here hi and here we are locked in as thomas so we could say hi it's thomas here and when we hit send then you see it here we have it here like blue because we are our own messages are displayed on the right and other messages are here on the left because here we are locked in as mark so i could say here hi thomas um, here is mark then we could uh, like send and then you see we have it directly opposite here here now it's blue because i'm here mark and here i'm thomas so it's displayed on the left and we always display here the username who wrote it and then the message and it always gets um, added to the bottom and here for example for the thomas user you can see we have like a lot more chat rooms and this here for example has at the moment no messages this here has some more here you can scroll and then infinite scrolling will also be like up near edit in future videos this is already on the to-do list um, and so as soon as a user is online then you can directly message him and so on and he gets it when he's online he sees it directly here so this is basically what this is here all about so this is like really real time so all, all the users that are connected to this chat room will then get a message directly so when we now close this here and we go to here again this is like at the moment all the functionality that will be implemented so far um, yeah and we can also paginate for through your rooms and then later there will be like a room search you will have here also infinite scrolling and so on so there's like a whole to-do list so let's go first over this readme here where we have like the concept of the series so we can see it here we have like a link to github and i can also open this as a preview so we have a link to github we have a link to youtube and we also have a link to my twitter account um, and then we have like the good to know so we are building like an api with nest.js in version 8 because version 8 has support for the latest socket io release 4 um, so for example the nest.js 7 is only compatible with uh, socket io 2 and so we would then have to uh, yeah, downgrade like our front end socket io and since i wanted to use like the latest version i was going to the nest.js 8 alpha version and i'm also updating it later um, so that we are always up to date then we are using here like angular in version 12 and also angular material we have like a simple start command like docker compose up there are here also some commands that you can use at the bottom then like the first video so exactly this video here is like an overview for our first part of the series so videos 1 to 17 18 19 how much they are coming and then i'm also thinking about implementing more features and more bug fixes and then we could do there like another um, overview video that we can then just add to here um, then we have like all comments are prefixed with the video number when they were made so for example video 17 the comment is prefixed for video 17 so when you are on github you can uh, very simply um, or if you're watching a video you can go to github and then you can go to this commit and you can directly see what was the state of the code at this time if you want to follow the video regularly so then we have like here folder user stories where we have all the user stories that we implement so our basic workflow for example let's just take story number two is we for a video first i make like a little introduction then um we will read like when we look at the outcome of the video first then we read through the user story then we yeah implement everything for the user story then we close the user story at the end and make here little checks that we implemented everything as we wanted so this is um like we are doing um then sometimes when you follow like the videos you might need to dump images or containers and rebuild everything so we have here in the tips and tricks some commands that you can use here 
um, exactly. Then we have like a to do MD file here where I'm just you're know, adding some to dos that I will implement maybe in the future. Um, if you want, you can also like um, contribute or make comments or may open something in GitHub that we can add. Then we have here like a little overview. Um, so here we want to implement like real time chat with web sockets here with uh, socket IO version 4. Um, so the main features are like we will see later when we make a little outcome or overview over this video or what we will build in the first 17, 18, 19 videos. We want to register a new user. We want also to log in with a user and get a valid JWT token for our authentication. Um, also for our API and also for the web socket or socket IO connection. We want to be able to create a chat room and add other users by the username. We want to join one of the chat rooms and see the latest messages. And we want to add like a message to the chat room. This will be like emitted immediately to all other joint users for this room that are currently online. And we build it with yeah, Nest.js 8 um, because version 8 has support for the latest socket IO release version 4. Um, here are some commands how to run the project and how to remove, for example, all images or containers. Um, so this should be here all. Then we could go, yeah, go to the to-dos. So for example, open to-dos are creating a chat room. Um, we shouldn't be able to select our own user because this will go to an error. Um, we want to add maybe in logout. We want to add infinite scrolling for chat room messages, also for rooms, front end store management. So that we can directly, when we get like a message from our backend, we can sort this to the correct room. Um, we have, um, yeah, we want to display like the newest message um, in the rooms list also. So for every room, the newest um, message. So like in WhatsApp, for example, so that they always plop to the top that we have, but not with the latest message displayed. We want to refactor some stylingness, uh, some styling, and we may also add responsiveness. And then there's like other stuff, like for example, um, search for rooms um, list of users or online list of users so a list of users who are currently online and so on so there you can always contribute on github if you want then we have here like our user stories and this is always written as a story and then we have our acceptance criteria we have a title and we have also here the link to the youtube video um, where this is implemented. Then we can just go over the overview here, maybe. So the first video is Nest.js and Angular setup. The second one is Nest.js login and register endpoints. And so you see here, I was trying to yeah, cluster everything a bit so that we don't, that we go or develop everything in steps. For example, some Nest.js and Angular stuff, then we just um, the Nest.js login and register endpoints here. And then we implement um, this on the front end and so on. So I tried um, to cluster it a bit in little steps so that it's easier to follow. Um, but sometimes it didn't quite work out. So you have to always um, follow. But all the videos are prefixed or all the commits are prefixed with the video that they were made in. So it should be, yeah, it should be followable. Um, then we have here like the third video is an SGS authentication module with JWT and refactoring. Then we have Angular user registration with reactive forms. Video number five is about Angular user login with reactive forms and JWT saving. Then we have like Nest.js verifying a JWT as middleware and debugging with Nest.js in general. Then we want in video seven to make something or add socket IO to our Nest.js and Angular project. And we want to establish a simple connection between them and then validate with JWT. So here also this like first step is to at socket IO, establish a connection and validate with JWT. And then in the next video, we do the first things with socket IO. So for example, create a room and display rooms for a user with socket IO connect. So when we connect, then we want to display all the users. Then in video nine, we want to add pagination for our rooms. Then we want to refactor like our observables to a single weight because sometimes it didn't quite work out well. Um, so it's easier to read in the code when everything is like the same style. And we also want to implement the username search. In video number 11, we added like a chat room creation with real time user search. Then we have like emit a created room to all users when we create a room. So, for example, when I create a room with the user Thomas and I invite James to it, then James should immediately have displayed like the new room when he's online. Um, then we have refactored the connected users with many to one to 
to a many-to-one -one relationship, I think from a, from a one-to-one -one here, um, and we're, that we clean like the connections tables on startup so that we don't have old data from connections. Um, then we have some add message and joint room entities and logic to our gateway to join and leave a room and to add like a simple message. Then in Angular, we yeah, reflect that we add message and get messages for our chat room. Then we sorted also the messages and display them like um, by the date. And we displayed our own messages on the right side. So this was just some HTML, CSS stuff. And at this video number 17, we uh, wanted to emit like the new message directly to each user who is currently online. So this is like a little overview of this video. Then we have like here our API, which is structured in modules. For example, we have an authentication module, a chat module, middleware, where we, for example, just check if the user is having a JWT and a user module. And yeah, if you want to see more here, you have to yeah like watch all the videos. So otherwise this gets too long. And our front end is also at the moment structured like a private module, like a public module. And then we have all the stuff inside. This should also be reflected like in future videos. So right now, I think this should be all you need.